In today's video, I'm reviewing a 2013 Volkswagen Touareg. The Volkswagen Touareg was introduced to the US market starting in 2004 and was replaced with a second generation model for the 2011 model year. This is part of that second generation that ran through the end of 2017 when the Touareg was unfortunately discontinued in the US market. The Touareg manages to offer a really nice balance of sporty looks, very athletic character, with being a more premium upscale vehicle and having a very rugged look to it. And the Touareg is actually based on the same platform as the Audi Q7 and it's a sibling to the Porsche Cayenne. And so the Porsche Cayenne is intended to be a little bit more of a sports oriented vehicle. It's got more sporty styling, whereas the Touareg is a little bit more rugged and mainstream. And comparing the two, I actually like the look of the Touareg slightly more. I think they're both great looking SUVs, but there's something about the more conservative, cleaner styling on the Touareg that to me just makes it the better looking vehicle. Of course, the fact that the Touareg is shared with the Porsche Cayenne gives it a very premium look, much more so than what you might get from other Volkswagen models, but it still maintains some of those uh, trademark design cues that you see throughout the Volkswagen lineup that kind of tie it to the rest of the brand. Headlight and front grille design being one of those areas, and then the rear tail lights as well. You'll see some nice accents throughout the vehicle that give it a premium look. Several chrome details, got those on the front bumper, the grille, the Volkswagen emblem. See that the headlight design's got some little LED inserts wrapping around, gives it a very premium look. Great looking stock wheels on the Touareg across the trim packages. Also really like this chrome strip along the bottom of the doors. And then coming around to the back, this little chrome strip along the trunk lid looks really nice. And then the wraparound of the windows and the side rails also having a little chrome. So it's all done very tastefully. It's one of the things I love about the Volkswagen brand is that they're really good when it comes to uh, those little details, giving vehicles a really classy look. The first generation model, the Touareg, was designed to be a very off-road capable vehicle that would drive like a sports car on road. And it does it very well, actually. It offers a really nice balance of those two characteristics. Second generation model does as well, but they removed some of the off-road equipment that you got in that first generation model. So it's a little bit less capable when it comes to off-road driving, but the benefit of that is that it's a less complicated vehicle, so less potential for costly repairs, the vehicle's lighter and so you get better performance and fuel economy. And of course, it's still gonna be capable for what most owners are gonna expect the vehicle to do. Another detail I really like on the Touareg is the dual exhaust. You see the tailpipes are a little bit dirty here, but they've got a really cool profile to them. Overall, really great looking SUV. Like I mentioned, it's got a really nice balance of being very upscale, very sporty, and very rugged all in one package. The interior of the Touareg is very impressive. It's got a really nice layout, looks very premium and upscale, high quality materials, nice attention to detail. I really love the overall look of the interior, and it's definitely the nicest Volkswagen model in their lineup. Again, the Touareg almost kind of exceeds the rest of the Volkswagen lineup in every sense and being a much more premium upscale vehicle. Really departs from the rest of the brand, although all Volkswagens really tend to be nicer than the other competition within their segment. As far as features and options, heavily loaded vehicle. We've got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors that are also heated, electronic lift gate, power seats, which also are leather and happen to be very comfortable. Very supportive and plush. We've got automatic headlights. On the steering wheel, we've got controls for audio and Bluetooth, as well as a number of other vehicle settings that you can scroll through. See a really nice clean instrument cluster, and it's got an LCD screen in the middle. Center console has got a little compartment up here on top. And then a nice large screen, duals as a backup camera, and a navigation screen. Uh, shows all the climate control settings, audio settings, Bluetooth. Got dual zone climate control for the driver and the front passenger, as well as heated seats for driver and front passenger. Of course, it's an automatic transmission. We've got an electronic parking brake. 
And then you can see this little dial here to adjust between on-road and off-road modes. So it gives the vehicle a little bit more capability in off-road driving. Cup holders, nice large center console. Got an auxiliary input in there as well. And 12 volt outlet. Up top, you'll see we have controls for uh, reading lights and ability to program up to three garage door openers. Dual visors, which is a really great feature, so you can put it on the side and front window. Jumping into the back seat, very spacious rear seat area here. Lots of leg and headroom. You'll see that we've got vents to get air into the back of the cabin, some cubby space, power outlet, another 12 volt outlet. Got a center armrest here that folds down with cup holders. Little compartment in the side of the doors. And then this middle seat also has the ability to fold down, allow you to get skis or other large objects through the middle and still maintain the use of those outer seats. And then the seat does fold down, but I'm not real impressed with the system here. It doesn't really fold completely flat. I uh, don't believe that this lower section folds up. It seems like it would, but I can't find a way to make it do it. So you don't really get a true fold flat situation here for getting cargo into the back, but it does increase slightly from the base scenario. And then coming around to the back of the vehicle, we've got an electronic rear lift gate, and you'll see it's a very spacious cargo area. It's unfortunate that the Touareg isn't offered with a third row seat. It's only got seating for five. But obviously if you had a third row seat, it'd be a pretty tight space back here. If you want a third row option, that's what the Audi Q7 is for. It's the vehicle share a lot in common. You'll see that in the back, we've got some cubby space here and another 12 volt outlet on this side, as well as a light to help illuminate this rear cargo area. And then to close that hatch, do it with the push this button again. For 2013, the Touareg was offered with three really great engine options. They had a three liter six cylinder turbo diesel with 225 horsepower, good for an EPA rating of 20 miles per gallon in the city and 29 on the highway. They also offered a three liter six cylinder supercharged hybrid with an EPA rating of 20 and 24. And then this is the more mainstream 3.6 liter six cylinder, which has 280 horsepower, will do zero to 60 in 7.7 .7 seconds, and has an EPA rating of 17 miles per gallon in the city and 23 miles per gallon on the highway. All of those engine options are paired to an eight speed automatic transmission and have all wheel drive. The Touareg is a really nice vehicle to drive. As I mentioned already, it's got a really great interior that's as nice as just about any other luxury car on the market. I've owned six Audis, and while I wouldn't say that this is quite as nice as an Audi, it's really close. And I actually owned a Touareg and was blown away when I bought the vehicle to see how close it was to the Audi level of refinement. It kind of made me wonder why people even spend the money to buy an Audi when you can get a Volkswagen Touareg that's almost as nice for less money. Um, really is a great interior. And then the driving experience is just as good. It's a very comfortable vehicle, really top end luxury, very quiet, very smooth and comfortable. And then of course we've got lots of luxury features. And then it's a fun car to drive as well. It really does offer good manners on the road. As I mentioned before, that when they developed this vehicle, they tried to make it a very off-road capable vehicle that would drive like a sports car. I wouldn't say that it quite drives like a sports car, but again, for an SUV, it's about as nice as it gets. It offers a really great ride, really good handling, lots of control, nice stiff steering wheel, um, and then decent powertrain. Now with the powertrains, I mentioned this has the six cylinder base engine, which is a really great engine. It really is pretty powerful and offers pretty decent fuel economy. But if you want a really exciting driving experience, the diesel or the hybrid are gonna be the way to go. Uh, surprisingly, the hybrid is actually the fastest of the trio does zero to 60 in under six seconds. So it's a really quick vehicle. Of course, the reason that it's so quick is that they're kind of trading off the fuel economy for performance. So you're not really gonna see a huge improvement in terms of that fuel economy. They're using all that savings of energy to just give it more power. And so it's a really fun vehicle to drive, not all that fuel efficient. With the turbo diesel, you get a pretty nice balance between the two where it gets really good fuel economy and it's a very quick vehicle. It's about a second slower to 60 miles an hour, so still very quick. 
but overall the Touareg is a great vehicle to drive all around it's very sporty it's very comfortable it's very luxurious and definitely worth your consideration if you want to get into a luxury SUV so that's a review of the second generation model of the Volkswagen Touareg this really is a great SUV and it's quite a shame that Volkswagen doesn't sell in the United States anymore it really is an excellent vehicle all around and I'd say that of all the luxury SUVs that are on the market in the US this would fall onto my top five list it really is a great value and just a great vehicle overall it's got great styling a really high-end interior lots of features and options and they're pretty competitively priced as a used vehicle if you have any comments or questions on the Touareg leave them in the section below for more car reviews subscribe to my channel in the meantime thanks for watching